All right, so you know Hurricane Harvey just hit, well, not just hit, but it just destroyed Texas, right? Right. So now you got Hurricane Irma coming through, going to hit, like, around Miami. So anybody in Miami might want to get out of there. Miami, West Key. Well, that's all of Florida, basically. I say it's going to hit Florida, right? Right. So now, not even just that, you got Jose that's going to be coming. And then behind Jose is another one called Katia. What the hell is going on? And both of them is going to be major uh, hurricanes, too. So if they grow up to be level five, like uh, what's called it is right now, that's going to be some shit. That's going to be some shit. Because, I mean, I was just looking at it like, okay, well, you got Jose, Jose that's coming right after Irma hits. And Irma's going to be, if it's anything like the Caribbeans and stuff, I mean, shh. The Caribbeans look all jacked up right now because they're it's showing that, that on there. On like unbroken. Which they might. Oh. But see, this is the thing. Like over in Texas, they didn't show this on the news, but there was somebody was filming and they were showing that they had alligators in Texas, like even in that water. So you could, this one lady was sitting down like on her porch and stuff while the water's all up. And I guess her house must be sitting up higher because she didn't really have too much of the flood water where she was at, but she had an alligator in the water right there in Texas. Mm. And you know they big in Florida, so Florida's known for having alligators just in general. Get the fuck out of Florida. Bull, and, that's, and Harvey was just a hurricane. I think it was just a Category 3. So you can imagine two more categories. That's really going to damage some shit. And then I don't even know where Jose and, and the other one, Katia, is going to hit. Like, who knows where that's going to be at? Right now. Mm -hmm. But that's, how do you got Harvey, yeah, Irma, Katia, go. and Jose. That's four hurricanes right there. <laughs> four of them. This is unheard of. I never heard of that. Right after the eclipse. Man. And then, and then the red moon. Red moon, I think it's something. Sun. Something is going on because that eclipse, man. It just seemed like some people were just having, you know, bad people luck. having bad luck with that. So I had hella bad luck. It was this one dude I was watching who was talking about it was going to be three earth, three major earthquakes on the U.S. Because basically, what he was saying was he had a vision where an angel came and showed him that three different fault lines of the U.S. Is where these earthquakes right. is gonna hit. One is gonna be like where um, everybody has been talking about California, where if an earthquake happens there, that could break off. You know, California be out in the ocean, basically like its own island. Mm -hmm. But then he said it was another one in the middle of the U.S. I'm, I don't know if it's like ah! where we at, but he said if that if another earthquake happens there, the U.S. could just break in half. Period. <sighs> But he didn't say like where the third one was. He just said it was just this the California one and then the middle. And then with the war shit on top of it, man, all these hurricanes, the eclipse and the red moon with the Donald Trump war shit. You hear about that shit that they sent that missile over Japan and shit. Mm -hmm. He didn't bomb him, but he shot it over that shit. They probably looking at that like, motherfucker, you tripping. And he gonna be shooting off another missile, so they looking at that, waiting to see what the what, it, what that's gonna be. A lot of motherfuckers dying. Motherfuckers gonna be happy to make it to see forty, like it's eighty or something. Like, nigga, you forty? <laughs> Man, and that ain't even because you was just living in the hood with drive-bys and shit like that. That was just because of some regular shit. I think the Western name is coming. The days and times where the last days is about to play out for real. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking where like it's about to be motherfuckers struggling to get food and water. Like it's you about gotta to take be hard. Yeah. Take Especially market. after that war shit really crack. If they throw that certain shit over here that's gonna have all them fumes and shit all in, yep. that's gonna fuck up the way of living. The food and for, everything. For a few years. And for I, some, see this is the thing. It's time for niggas to get guns and everything. Cause people it's time for people to get saved, too. People better, it's time for people to get saved, but people better get ready. Remember, like yeah, the you got to get ready. Like the yeah. book of Eli. I know yeah. that was a movie. God said you're going to have to protect him. God said yeah. you're going to have to you protect yourself. You're about to have yourself. people doing all kind of shit for their families, and mm -hmm. you better be ready to protect yours. Right. You don't need, need, really you don't need water and that. all that. Mm -hmm. My dad was saying, God didn't ever say protect yourself. Right. So that's the, see. This is the thing. Like with all this stuff, don't protect yourself. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the thing that's gonna happen. Once the um, if with the more natural disasters that's going on, that's gonna take off a lot of people right there. 
Then you got the war that may or may they still kind of teetering on that, like it may or may not happen or whatever. And I don't see him surviving without bombing something. Mm-hmm. He already done pushed Size a few coming. buttons. Size like coming. he gave a guess. Size coming. He no, go. He so this is so this is what I'm looking you at right him. here. You miss him. If the uh, if that does happen, what dude was talking about, like if if those if there is three major earthquakes that breaks up the U.S. because he was basically you can saying take your stuff if you want. he was basically saying the reason why they why it's gonna happen is because we basically are worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what he was saying. Like the angels was telling him, like America is worse than the Sodom and Gomorrah. Like not only did um, the 9/11 thing was supposed to be like a, a message or whatever. And instead of us repenting and going to God, we basically turned our back and just went worse. So yeah, well, they're making all this transgender stuff, right? And gay marriages, and then you got the mark coming out now. So it's it's all crazy. The mark, the mark. You know, people they're taking that little chip in, like they did a few things. They did a few things for a company. They're supposed to be able to go into the company without a badge or whatever, just to be having your hand up and shit. People need to better go learn how to shoot at the gun range and get licensed to have guns and really get some registered guns and go learn how to shoot. Because when that shit hit the fan, it's going to be people getting desperate as a Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. If you find out you come out your house with a bottle of water, you're going to have to hurry up and shut the door. Man. They got water. They yep. bust you in your head for that shit. Cause it's gonna be so. Looks like, like Kendra might need to be in the window. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Get back. <Man. laughs> Cause it was like, what is it? A bottle of water down in Texas is like eight dollars for a regular sixteen ounce bottle of water. They charging eight dollars for that. Speaking of bottle now, water, because of the flood. Yeah. Oh my. God. I was looking at. I was looking at this one All video that was talking coming. about it. Mm-hmm. Speaking of bottle of water. I was just talking to Lester's other cousin yesterday because we went over his house. Mm-hmm. He was talking about, he looked at some stuff. Some of the bottled water got lead in it or something like that. They got a way you could test it. Like when you like taking pee, like the containers can tell if it's this or that. Mm-hmm. It's a way that you can test the water. And they like, they people finding lead in some of the water. Like that shit ain't even safe. Like they're trying to kill motherfuckers. Like at the end of the day. You ain't even so I'm drinking at. that shit. Like, so That's what I'm looking at it like, man. A lot of this stuff that I was looking at, I might have to buy it myself. I, I want to kill black people. Because yeah. I think that white people already, they already got, when you do that research, they already got these underground places with yeah. Hillary and shit they down there. Kill rich and all that people, type though. of shit. I'm saying these safe havens and lookers were going on to these black people been mm-hmm. complaining about not getting rescued right. and shit. Yeah. This shit is just living proof. Like, if this is a natural disaster that's happening, why ain't y'all picking none of them up? Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just picking up everybody white and everybody in there, letting niggas die and all this shit. Alligators in the water. They want to get their mama and them out this shit too. Right. At the end of the day. So if y'all ain't doing that, what the hell y'all going to do at the end of the day when... I just don't trust white people. Me either. But see, I this, just don't trust them. This is white what I'm people looking will at. never change. As a whole race, I'm not mm-hmm. saying everybody white is like... Right. But as a race, fuck no. Nah. The motherfuckers at the top... They plotting that shit, that underground mm-hmm. shit with all that food. We gonna be the motherfuckers who don't know about that shit. Exactly. When all that shit's get to hitting the fans, we gonna, gonna be eating and drinking. Right now, they kind of being quiet on Yellowstone. And Yellowstone is one of the biggest natural right. disasters that can happen ever. Like, if that shit happens, not only would you... It would be like a, a ash cloud, basically, that cover up... I'm saying half of the United States, if that mug blows, right? And then you ain't gonna be able to really... Um, you're not going to be able to breathe because of that ashes and stuff. Food? So that's going to suffocate people. It's going to make it to where you can't have food. Like, if you think thinking like, oh, I got some garden. That garden ain't going to be no good once that once that stuff starts coming out the sky and stuff. So it's going to be all towed up. You know what else black people need to start considering? You want more deal? Even if they don't want to make the move right away. People need to start getting passports and shit. Mm-hmm. Just on standby. Like, mm-hmm. you gotta get up and just get the fuck out of the United States. Like, fuck the Donald Trump situation with the bombing and all of that. Motherfuckers don't have to be here for that shit. Like, motherfuckers need to get passports and go take the plan out of trip or something to, like, Canada or something. Yeah, people say go to Canada. But the food that we still probably eat close enough to the food that we eat is it's versatile with the races and the culture and shit like that. Because mm. some of these cultures you go to, they ain't used to seeing no American niggas. They might be looking like, 
But I know you can go to a place like Canada and blend in. Like, you know what I'm saying? They might not just know you from this motherfucker. They might not know if you from there. But mm-hmm. motherfuckers might need to go test out some other places because it for might sure. not it might be a point in time where it's just best just for the like people in Miami that's leaving mm-hmm. and people from these other places leaving. They ain't planning on that shit. So the people who were never planning on it, they probably getting caught off guard like a motherfucker like shit. Right. They know they need to leave that shit. Because you think about like what what that what I what they were just showing over with the Caribbean with the hurricane hitting over there, they're like what happened over in Joplin and stuff with the tornado and stuff. But it's just worse because you got hit by a what's called like a hurricane. So that's not just wind coming and break yourself up. That's water coming and all that flooding. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't you even know what's going to happen. Everybody kids can't swim. Right. There's a whole lot of kids. Even the ones that can't swim, they scared to swim in that shit at mm-hmm. the end of the day. All the swimming lessons in the world ain't gonna teach them go swim in that shit. Though, the mm-hmm. alligator and more. If the little kids see the alligator, they ain't swimming for shit. No. Nah. At the end of the day, and they then they're showing like how they keep showing like in different movies how like it's gonna be a big ass wave that's gonna be over like the skyscrapers in New York. And for some reason, they keep showing that like in different movies like this. Basically showing like this is what's gonna happen, and then they're gonna have this movie come out, which I think is kind of crazy now. Now that we get closer to October, I think this movie called Geostorm is coming out. And Geostorm is about a movie about like all types of different storms just tearing up the place. And it's kind of funny they have that movie coming out now that this stuff is happening. You know what I mean? Like, what are y'all trying to. Yeah, like, what are y'all trying to say? Like, y'all just put it out there, just smacking people in the face, like, this is what's going to happen. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You just gonna watch this movie, think it's entertaining, but at the same time, this is what's really about to happen. Tornadoes just taking over places. If a tornado can't get you, then an earthquake is gonna get you. If a earthquake can't get you, then you're gonna get hit with a uh, either a volcano or a tsunami or something like you know, a hurricane or something. Crazy shit. People need to get saved and need to get prepared. When I mean prepare, I mean get your gun license, prepare for whatever. Cause you don't know exactly what it's gonna be. Need to get your gun license, get guns, learn how to shoot. Get that food get, prepared. Get a passport, just put aside. I ain't saying leave now, but mm-hmm. get passports. Because if you want to go somewhere else, like, you know what, we need to really leave. Go to Canada, go to somewhere. Mm-hmm. You, you need to be prepared to just be able to do it. You know what I mean? Like, shit. And the cost of living over there, because I know a chick from Canada, my cousin's wife, she from Canada. A dollar over here is more money over there. Mm-hmm. So people, yeah, they got yeah, like bank right. accounts and stuff, and you got like money saved. You can actually go over to places nice. like that mm-hmm. and have more money than what you have over here in America. Yeah. So look, and I just think I'm just a, Canada's just a place that I would think to go. Like if I felt like everybody know, all right, we here. Like everybody know, we over here, and it's just for whatever might happen with the war shit. If the bombs is really getting too close, like St. Louis just got hit, boom, like right. nigga, Chicago got hit, boom, like places in the Midwest, and you know it might be coming, like, mm-hmm. and if it just might be smarter to flee, I just feel like that's an option, getting out of here because of that, getting out of here because of other things that might happen, like as far as like people getting desperate in Kansas City for water and mm-hmm. food. You just might want to leave the whole place. I feel like Canada is a place where you can be who you can be without getting used to so much different yeah. culture of life. It might be different over there. I ain't saying that. It might be different, but I don't think it ain't something that Americans can adjust to easily. You know what I'm saying? They still mm-hmm. like Drake and they still got teams in the United States like Toronto oh, yeah, Raptors. Right. Like Drake. He's from Canada. No, I'm just saying, like, even people over here can vibe with Drake and the Toronto Raptors and Canadian teams are still in the American NBA leagues and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. the way of life over there ain't going to be too much different from what we already been knowing our whole lives. Right. Mm-hmm. Versus going somewhere where you got to really get used to the food for real. Right. Like, everything they got over here. Like, right. we don't eat this shit. Cause we never have, like you know what I'm saying, and getting used to it. I like, can't eat goat every day. <laughs> I personally feel like Canada is where I would have yeah, If we had to get up out of here, like mm-hmm. fuck that, yeah, we better, we all better get over to Canada. That's a place mm-hmm. I'm thinking about. We can stay with Lauren and Clark. <laughs> Man, 
We got a place we can stay. And I'm going down there because I've got my my cousin and wife and stuff is from down there. We have no people like we might as well group up in Canada. Like, mm-hmm. oh. but see, that's another thing. When that there. stuff starts happening, it's good to live together so uh-huh. y'all can protect each other better. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, if anything was to happen, that's why I had a plan. Like, with my mother's house, like. It's a it's a nice size house, you know. Joe got all them guns and shit, so we ain't it ain't even like we gotta hurry up and get guns. That nigga already got the only thing he got to do was how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? So if anything happens, shoot. I don't want to be like right. If anything happens, you better be dead on because at the end of the day, they're gonna be shooting at you, trying to take whatever. Mm-hmm. Other than you gotta have nobody. You better be prepared to right. You better be prepared to kill. I'm running up in here and like taking everything somebody got. You right. dying in this motherfucker. Right. right. They coming for food. I don't even live here. Self defense. Boom boom. <laughs> Bam boom. Cause they coming for food and water. That's what they coming for. That's what the two major things. Mm-hmm. And just because the niggas already see anything else, like, damn, might as well take the jewelry too. Right. Right. Yeah, nah. They'll be taking shit that you don't even need, like a TV. Right. Like, you, like, you ain't got no electricity. <laughs> well, you know what, motherfuckers gonna be carrying holsters. Man. <laughs> Spinning them like, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit, hell yeah, nah. But that's the, it's the truth, though. Mm-hmm. Niggas better get ready. And you don't know what it's gonna be. It could be the mm-hmm. war shit getting out of control with Donald Trump and this shit. If they start bombing this shit. I'm not going to want to be, I know them people feel good, like, to listen to him and everybody else that's already living in Canada, when they look at the news and see that shit, I know they glad they be they like, damn, but mm-hmm. then, you know, they you know what's going to be crazy, did. though? You know what would be the craziest thing? If you heard, like, let's say if you was living in Iowa or something, right? Or as a matter of fact, oh, I say, wow. <laughs> I say, like, but yeah, like, if you live in Iowa or something, and you heard, like, it, it was a bomb that hit Iowa, and you looking around, like, hold up, what? You know, this is going to be some scary shit to know that you were just a few right, towns away. Right, because we ain't that far. And it just because hit. Because when we went to Nebraska, we drove through Iowa, and it did not take us that long from Missouri mm-hmm. to get to Iowa. So I'm up here looking at that, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> what if you lived in Iowa? You watch, you just right. wake up after a sleep, you know, watching the news just to see what the weather and the traffic is going to be because you were about to go to work. And it was like a bomb hit Iowa. And you like a, you living in Iowa, but it is hit like hey, you know you Kansas doing? City and and Olathe is like if it hit Olathe or something. Yeah, it's you'd be like I like know that. I got family in Olathe. You be up there, hurry up, calling them. And you are, you know, what I'm saying like some scary hey. shit gonna happen. Hey, what are you doing? Uh,